Today marks 10 years since the National Weather Service confirmed 207 tornadoes across the South. How could we forget that? 319 people died. More than 2,800 people suffered injuries, and our region was certainly not spared. The Weather Service confirmed 10 tornadoes across East Tennessee and Southwest Virginia. More than a dozen people lost their lives. Five of those tornadoes happened to touch down in Greene County, where eight people were killed. As Mark Reynolds from our sister station in the Tri-Cities reports now, for many who survived the storm, the horror of what happened a decade ago in Greene County is still tough to talk about. You couldn't recognize a road. You couldn't recognize if you was in a field. You, you couldn't recognize nothing. For Sandy and C.J. Bishop, the terror of the tornadoes that hit Greene County the night of April 27, 2011, is still hard to talk about. We came with, with wrath. It, it got us all because, you know, South Wind out here gets like 70 to 100 mile an hour. And we lived through that. The night you said everybody needs to hunker down, I'm thinking, yeah, well, we're going to miss this one again. But I had no idea that a tornado could ever get in these valleys with the strength that it did. C.J. Bishop remembers combing through debris and damage in the dark, hoping to find survivors. He said, how are we going to find these houses and stuff? I said, I took my flashlight and I shined out and I said, we'll go with the power lines. Wherever the power line leads, there should be a house on the end of it. The storms didn't discriminate. Every type of building sustained damage. Of the five tornadoes, two had wind speeds of 150 to 160 miles per hour, which destroyed more than 50 homes, 46 mobile homes, and 88 barns and other farm buildings. Daddy was sitting in the kitchen, and his sawmill was behind his house. The whole sawmill went through his living room, but didn't touch him sitting at the kitchen table. There was a two before, came through like a helicopter, and it went through and just mowed both walls of the mobile home. Out. Still, after the storms, the reality of the disaster had not sunk in with those affected. And my sister come out and said she could hear a little boy on top of the hill up there crying, and said Ricky looked at her and said, well, what do we do? And Deb said, call 911. And Ricky said, well, that's only for emergencies. <laughs> So it, it still didn't sink in. Well, all these years later, it will never fade. And there is a memorial in the Camp Creek community to remember those who died in those storms 10 years ago. A service is happening at the Camp Creek Ruritan uh, Memorial Pavilion. That's tonight to honor those who died.